Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Aurora Wager with your host, String. Uh, this is a game I've seen around uh, YouTube a bit, and I decided I want to give it a try. It was made in three days for a competition, and because of that, it's a little rough around the edges. It has some bugs and things like that, but for what it is and for what little time it was uh, put together in, it's pretty impressive. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. So here's what you see when you turn on, you're missing nothing. Dear Jeb, I hereby challenge you to a race. First one to plant his flag on the North Pole wins. As usual, we will use our balloons. Good luck! Regards, Frederick Knuckledorf. Our names, but alright. Alright, and here is our balloon. And we're just kind of dropped down into it. So what we want, first off, is this burner over here, because it's kind of important to the whole, you know, flying the balloon thing. Just stick it up there, and let's see, there's a few other items in here. And we want our proud flag, because we need that to mark our, our victory. And then the compass. So, let's see, what else is there? Does that not... That's weird, it doesn't want to close all the way back. There we go. Just took a little fidgeting. And there is our fuel, which goes right in there. So I believe that's all we need. Let's just toss things off. There we go. And close gates, because I will follow this. It has happened. That's how my first and well, only playthrough so far has ended. I accidentally fell out of the balloon. So there we go, just start the burner, just hold it. Somehow it's getting into that balloon, even though it's kind of laying over on the side like that. And this first part's always a little interesting because things start tilting. But if you just keep holding through, it will kind of balance out. So that's good. And over there are three very important gauges. The top one is the balloon temperature, which, you know, basically means how hot it's getting, and how hot it's getting affects our vertical speed. So right now it's neutral, we're not rising or falling. And this one is our fuel. We're using a fair bit just to try and get off the ground here. But, yep, we should be good now. And we're off. I just love this. Just flying in general is really kind of fascinating to me. Just the fact that you can kind of like wander around in the small flying craft and see the fog. Because apparently there's not much land here. And our compass. Let's see. So we want to be going that way, I believe. Because. I think that's how it works. I, it's been a long time since I've had to use a compass. Boy Scouts were, you know, a decade ago. Well, oh, way over that. Uh, so, yeah, I think I vaguely know how a compass works. <laughs> anyway, it looks like we're just kind of bobbing along. I'd hope we'd get some sort of caught up in some wind. Maybe. Oh, this is a really nice touch. You actually have a lot of weight. Like, you can watch, and you actually tilt the balloon as you walk around it. So I kind of like to stand in the direction I want to go, just because it makes me feel like, hey, I'm getting a little faster. And I noticed, at least in my last playthrough, if you have trouble with uh, needing to get more height, just jump. <laughs> I like how you move independently of it, actually. Uh, but you can jump and it, it'll rise up to you, and you can get a little bit extra height. So, are we actually getting caught in some wind now? Nope. Yep. There is our crater, where we used to call home, I suppose. I kind of wonder what was over there. Might be something neat. 
Maybe an Easter egg or something? I don't know. But I'd like to try and land on one of these early islands to see if we can get something good off of them. So let's actually release the pressure a bit. Apparently I'm still independent of the balloon. That's kind of odd. Maybe jumping kind of messed that up. Oops. Yeah, that's weird. Come on. I am very much independent of the balloon. If I jump again, I will fly right off. Whee! <laughs> Alright. So, hopefully when we land, this will kind of sort itself out, because I'm sliding, and that's kind of annoying. But, again, the game was made in three days. It's pretty good for what it is. So let's see, we're descending a bit. Good. I want to try and aim for that island. I think we should descend a little quicker. Hopefully that'll be good. I don't know, I'm not that great at the... Okay, we're going really fast. Let's... I want to land on it. Come on. You can't move too far from these things while you're using them. But you can wander a little bit. Fall! Fall! Fall faster! Please? Why are you not falling? Oh no, we're falling. Maybe a little too quickly now. Uh, this might be a bit of a... a hard impact, and we might miss it completely. Okay, burner! <laughs> Go a little bit. Just slow our fall a little bit. Oh, slow it more, please. Come on. Okay, well, at least we're hitting the island. I was afraid we were going to hit the mist for a while there. Just might be a bit of a bump. Alright, seat belts. Oh, I'm landing on the side of a... Oh, okay. Landing on the side of a mountain, too. Not that great. The problem is, I think if I'm outside of this, it might drift off without me. So let's try and lower it a little more. Just kind of get it more grounded. Would be nice. And not sliding so much. Can you stop sliding? You're making me nervous. Balloon? Can we... Can we stop spinning, please? I want to just land and look for supplies. That's all I want. I'm really afraid that it might just drift off into the mist down there, which I'm pretty sure is like insta-death. Alright, well let's just jump out. Yeah, you're still spinning around, and apparently we ran over a box. But... Could you just stop, please? It looks like it's taking off. I'm just going to run around and see if I can explore a bit. Hopefully it'll stay somewhat still. I believe all of these islands have supplies on them somewhere. I don't know if all of them necessarily have fuel. The one island I managed to land on in my first playthrough did, so that was good. Uh, that's just a tiny box. Boxes are useless. They do nothing. Well, if it was just a tiny box, that was pretty much pointless, and just wasted a lot of fuel. I'm hoping... Okay, it's still gonna sit in there, vaguely. I'm trying to run quicker, but it's not really... Okay, there we go. Shift's kind of... a bit slow to kick in on hills, so I've been hopping. I think that might be a fuel canister. 
Aha, yes, it is. So this wasn't a waste. We have fuel. Almighty fuel. So that's mostly what I was looking for, but there are a few other items we can get. Uh, I, the only ones I know of are a grappling hook and a big burner. The big burner would help us get uh, into the air much quicker, but I think it's less efficient. And the grappling hook is kind of buggy, but it would be awesome if I could get that and try and... Ooh, that might be a grappling hook over there. Let's put this back. Maybe we can fly our balloon over there, possibly. I don't know. That might end horribly for us. I wish dude could run faster. He can float really well, though. Because if you jump, he just kind of glides down. It's more noticeable when you fall out of a balloon, trust me. It looks like it stayed still. Well, that's good. Guess it got hooked on something. That's one thing I think the grappling hook is pretty much used for, is to uh, sit your balloon still while you explore. Because it, you know, bolts it to the ground. That's the back door, apparently. Okay. And then let's drop canister. No, I want it to fall flat, please. Ah, I guess I shouldn't be too picky about it. As long as it's in there. So get in there. Get in there. There we go. And let's see if we can't kind of hover our way over to those supplies so I don't have to walk all the way. Of course, I'm using a lot of fuel, but I figure I just got an entire new tank that has the exact same fuel as that one did. So I'm okay to waste a little bit. Any lift? Maybe a little? No? So I figured if I kind of island hop, I can just steal as much gas as I want. And all will be well. Okay, we're taking off a little. And see, this is a perfect example of the hopping thing. So you did one hop there, and suddenly we got a bunch of uh, lift or altitude, or whatever. I'm not really familiar with these things. Okay, that's good. Now fall. Not this way. I want to go that way. So this might have been pointless. Oh well. I think... Will you be fine if I leave? No, you're going to take off if I leave. Okay, so... Drop a bit more. Can I get out? Will you will you be okay? Yeah, you're gonna hit some mountains, you'll be fine. Okay, so where was that grappling hook? Yeah, you're fine. It's a really fun thing to play with, but I don't quite understand how it's supposed to work. So this might, you know, end up getting us stuck to a mountain forever. Oh well, that's the risk you take. We have some nice kind of ambient music going on. Ah, there it is. Such lovely music. It's a nice atmosphere. And... Oh, there's another small gas tank, which I probably should get. But you can only carry one thing at a time. Maybe I can, like, kick it back? Nah, that's fine. Well, I don't know. Got get it? Oh, well. I think we're good for fuel. Another island I land on probably will have some. So I'm not going to worry about running back for it. I've already wasted enough time on this island. It's a game about flying, and I spent the entire time on the ground. Well, most of it. But luckily, with this grappling hook, we can maybe snag stuff. Uh, I believe it could be used for anchoring and for grabbing items while you're flying by. 
So like if we're flying low enough, see a gas can, just grapple it up and bring it up to the ship, or balloon. I have not managed to get that to work before, but we'll see. Alright. Yeah, we got stuck in a mountain again. That's good. I'm glad when it does that. Makes my life easy. Let's just fly in, and that's the back. Well, I don't really care. It's going there. Okay, let's get out of the fog. It's kind of a neat looking island over there. Okay, lift would be nice. Yeah, this is kind of one of the benefits of having the big burner is it would get you up in there really damn quick. Just in a few seconds, really. But I think it wastes more fuel, like I was saying before, so I'm not sure if it's really that great. It's mostly for us impatient people. Oh, alright, we're heading up really quickly. That was weird. And what... We want to be going, like, that way. We're vaguely going that way. That works. And we should have plenty of lit. Yeah, we're going high. Okay. Uh, we might not want to do that, because it looks like the winds up there are kind of going... Well... They're not really going where we want them to. But they're not going too far, of course. Yeah, we want to go about that way. They're leading us that way. Hmm. Maybe the higher ones will... Yeah, the higher ones will go a bit more where we want to go. As soon as we get up to those, we can level off a bit. And that should be fine. And yep, here is the hook launcher. You can't hit anything from up here. It has to be really close range. But yeah, it has this little laser thing. And I really don't want to... Oh. Oh! I just figured out how to retract it. Because I, I had it... Last time I was like, I shot it and I got stuck. I was like, well, I don't really... Apparently just hit E. That's handy. I was trying to cancel out of that. Yeah, we'll play with that in a bit. Probably in another island that we pass by. Let's see, so... North... The winds taking us kind of that way, so let's let's level off a bit. That's not a very precise thing, of course. So you have to it'll keep moving a little bit after you let go, and the balloon does cool down a little bit as you go. So you do end up slowly falling as you fly, which is a nice touch because otherwise you'd just be able to fly exactly perfect forever which would be kinda lame ah this is kind of nice unfortunately I had to turn the graphics down a little bit to record uh, you could actually see a little farther and a little more detail from up here but it's not missing on too much it just makes the world look a little more barren than the high-res version. All this stuff looks pretty much the same, though, when it's fancy. I think there's, you know, not jaggies like that. There's actually anti-aliasing, but that's okay. This is the best I can really do with the crappy equipment I've got. Let's drop it a little more. Because I want to stay about here. Yeah, that's good. Nope. Depends on what angle you're looking at it, but I think we're falling a bit. So let's just have a bit of a tap of that. There we go. That's good enough. Soaring through the air with the lovely music and the very really tilted balloon. I don't know why it's tilting like that. Is a fuel canister, like, weighing us? Is it that? It might be. 
Close all the way, thank you. I wonder why they do that. And close part way. Huh. Maybe it's some sort of like weird bug. Actually, it's difficult to walk over when it's tilted like that. Interesting. Good enough. We're still going in the right direction. Right speed, right everything. For now. The winds do change, though. But I think, for the moment, I will cut this video here. And I want to um, ask of you guys if you would like to see more of this. Because it is really slow. There is going to be a lot of this. I think I would just play it straight. I might cut up a bit, but I really want to play this, and I kind of figured maybe I'll record it. If you guys are interested, I will make a short series out of this, trying to get to the North Pole. If not, we'll just leave it off here. Because, you know, it's a fun little showcase of what it is, and this is more or less the game. Uh, I've shown you, you know, landing on an island, taking off all of that, and you just need to ke keep kind of hopping along the islands every once in a while, just to make sure you have fuel and eventually get to the North Pole. I have not ever gotten close. Oh, I think we want to go that way. Oh, the, we're spinning a little bit. Oh, we're going sort of in the right direction. But yeah, you've seen all of it, but with the exception of the North Pole. If you want to uh, try this yourself, I will have a link down in the description. So anyway, thank you very much for watching everyone, and I will see you next time. Alright, well I'm just going to keep going, because you can't save this game. This part may or may never, may or may not ever be shown. That's okay. I just didn't want to stop it. This is a pretty good run so far, and we're heading the right direction. But it is kind of a passive game. So I think there'd be a lot of just waiting around. Watching the world spin. Especially because we're... pretty good. I could try landing on that island. There are things down there. You know what, let's do it. Let's see if we can land. Okay, we are descending. Maybe a bit too quickly. But I should be able to use my grappling hook to pull us in, I believe. Come on, come on. Point at the island, you... Alright, are you gonna stick to anything? Because I think if you stick, we can be reeled in. Nope, you didn't. Anything this time? Let's close that before I fall out. I'm opening this one because I probably will fall out. Oh, shit. Not what I meant to do. I just want to hook ourselves onto the island, please. Nope, that didn't work. Please? Nope. Okay, apparently it's stuck now. <laughs> Let's just ascend a little bit, please. Okay, there we go. So now that's... 
Can we just like hook our way over there, please? It keeps rocking when it hits the end. I want it's a neat effect, but it makes me feel like, oh we hooked it, but no, we didn't. Nope, still no hooking. Okay, let's drop a little. This is not easy for me to fly, I think. Yeah, we're descending a little bit. Okay. So that should be good. And I'll just keep fruitlessly shooting at the island. Hoping to get a grab. I really want to grab it over that way so we can kind of... Oops. Kind of pull ourselves closer. Maybe? Nope. seeming like it's gonna hit it to me. But then it just flies right on back. Okay, we are dropping fairly quickly. But that's okay. I think... I think we'll hook something. Oh! That's the hook sound! Alright, now I'm reeling us in means I can give us a bit of lift and we might be able to like spin ourselves around and, like yeah because we're pulling ourselves in and we're just basically turning ourselves okay that's amazing we're using this to basically turn that was cool hook. Thank you. Okay, so it's a bit of an odd way to fly a balloon, but it does work well enough. And while it's doing its thing, we'll release a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Maybe we release too much. I wonder... I don't need to reel it in. I could just... Oops. Yes, I will beat Frederick. I could just leave it here and maybe... While being tethered... We'll, like, rotate around? Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot of force pulling us in. Come on. Oh, I see it. If it's not pulling, it will kind of let the rope drift out, it seems like. Yeah, because we're slowly getting a little farther from it. But hopefully we can kind of rotate around here. Unorthodox flying? Well, that's how Jeb rolls. Unorthodoxly. It might have been faster to have just have landed over there and then walked over and back, but this is way more entertaining. And it looks like there might be a lot of actual uh, supplies down there. So that'll be nice. Just kind of drifting over now. Our kind of weather balloon. I guess because we're kind of working against the winds here, so that's why it's kind of being weird. Let's actually tether ourselves over there and just pull ourselves in. And then we'll just pull ourselves in and we'll have it tethered there and we're down to loot stuff. That should work just fine. Because we reached a point where the wind was kind of just keeping us away. Like it wasn't really going to turn us anymore. See, it looks like there's fuel maybe and compasses and... I don't know. Good things. Definitely good things. And I'm really glad we found this grappling hook. Because that kind of makes my life easier. And it's a lot easier to use than the first time around. Okay, there we go. It's 
Okay, that might be a problem. Uh, yeah, I probably should have stopped pulling it in. Yeah, okay. Let's run. Please. Okay, stop. Stop pulling. You're good. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Let's see what we've got. Another hook launcher. Might as well. I could have four of them if I really wanted to. And it looks like a compass. Again, might as well. I can have four. Not going to be a problem. I think the hook launchers, if I can use two of them, I might be able to actually like uh, stair-step our way along. Like, just shoot one, have it pull us towards something, shoot the other one further, kind of like release it and all that stuff. Seems like a bit of an odd way to fly, admittedly, but it could be really fun. It could also lead to our doom. But I'm okay with this. Not really sure how we're going to get back into the balloon at this point. It seems to be a little out of reach, but at least we can attach things to it from down here. Let's see. Fuel over there. And fuel and a box. Is there anything else really good? I think that might just be a box over there. So I'm not going to really bother with it. I am a little... I'm not that big of a fan of the slowdown when walking up hills. But luckily jumping seems to solve that pretty well. Alright, another fuel tank. We're doing really well. If I can figure out how to get back inside, that'd be nice. Maybe I have to like run and jump from over here or something. Run we Oh, oh, almost. Yeah, we can apparently see through the gas can. That's just that's just how they are, apparently. Oh, damn it. Okay, maybe I can, like, scoot it... Scoot it somewhere else. Let me back in! I have the stairs on the wrong side, damn it. Okay, so our journey might have ended here. Uh, if I can't get back in the damn balloon... I'm just trying to push it and see if I can get something going on here. I don't know what. I was hoping maybe it'll rearrange itself to a place where I can jump on. And now I know why the stairs were there, because I can't get on if they aren't facing the right way. Maybe I can, like, mount that there and... I almost did. Oh, okay, yeah. Thank you, gas canister. Thank you for helping us along. Let's drop that one in. Oops, no, no. Want to drop you? No. Want to drop you inside. There we go. Alright, and you can stop that. There we go. Nope. And we are off? Maybe? We do have plenty of fuel, so that's a good thing. Actually, let's test... Let's test my grabbing theory. Let's see. That's... Oops. Ah, damn it. I just want to... Get that gas canister. Oh! Good. Hit a bump. Okay, let's... Let's lift off before we slide into the fog. I can experiment with grappling hooks later. If we're alive. There we go. Let's have a grappling hook on that side, then one on the opposite. So hopefully it'll pull us to the front door. Let's see. North is about that away. So we're good. We'll slowly rise up into these probably quicker currents, I'm assuming. To just glide on our way. 